are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. mind off it you know it was just barely a few about let's say about some like some 12 hours away from pain if not less or more and uh we're still trying to just get get enough energy for ourselves and act like all is cool but all is not well you understand and um it feels like you've come back on radio or tv or come back to work in the morning after a heartbreak and you're pretending to be fine taking all the selfies and all but deep down in you like the pain is there like it's just you know it's just uh yeah like a pulsating you know pain like you run boom like boom uh boom boom yeah uh see so everything cool yeah i'm okay i'm not on the phone there's a there's a leaked audio something with the black stars uh breaking news hmm. breaking news i'm yeah. sending it to you every day drama no, even if they were filmmaking anyway, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hearing let's you know go past this what is it yes nah, no, it's the, the fan who sent the message to Yes. So wait, what is, who, who's Richard? Like oh, the, the keeper? The keeper, yeah. They are, they are, they are, uh, uh, is he alleging? What is it? Uh, uh, what, what are they doing? That no. they are alleging or they that are he's been sorted out. Yes, 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 no, yes. I was just kind of watching. I said, like, you know, they pay the players. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, he's saying that, like I was saying this morning, <laughs> taxpayers money. You, you get me? You receive money or you receive pay remuneration to go <laughs> represent your nation, and you do this. You commit such a blunder, and you call yourself a goalkeeper. Someone who guards the post. Wait. So okay. So let me say what You're I saw. Keeping the goal for the when position. they headed the ball, right? When, when I don't know whether it played or headed, but when the ball was from the angle at first, I Bro, saw the it. Ball even I'm coming. Wait, wait. I'm saying something. Ball. From the angle that that's the camera was showing us, right? Mm-hmm. I thought the ball was going into the net when he tried to push no. it out. I'm coming. <laughs> so when they did the replay, and then I saw where he was standing, mm-hmm. and where the post was, which was behind him. Bro, you vex pass. I was. I, I said, okay, wait. I don't want to vex. I said, wait, wait, maybe you see, sometimes you need to just leave room for doubt. So I said, oh, maybe he didn't, he wasn't aware he was out of the post and was stopping the ball. The but defender. later on, when I watched the third replay, <laughs> I saw that the guy really knew he was away from the post. And the ball was clearly going outside. In fact, from where he stood, there was no net in front of him. No. The net was behind him. Was behind him. <laughs> Fourthly, there was nobody standing in front of him who was a threat to the ball going outside. Fifthly, <laughs> the person who kicked the ball, clearly he knew it was he was the opponent. So it was going for a goal kick, Anna. Yeah. It was yeah. going for a goal kick. It was out, cry. Like, we, we so, have and, to be and sixthly, oh. sixthly, mm-hmm. he caught the ball, touched it, and, and allowed it to it. go. He didn't grab Seventhly. it. Seventhly, Oko Oko, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seventhly. Okay, okay, yeah, then okay. the ball had gone. Now striker was walking backwards. Now Cyril, let's hey, leave. Ghana. Now, Cyril, let's leave. Let's leave. <laughs> let's I'm so excited. Let's go for it. Stay. Wait, wait, hold on. For you. No, but let's leave. The, let's go for it. Now let's go to the corner kick. Really now let's go to the corner kick. This is the ninety fifth minute. Let's go to the corner kick. This is the ninety fifth minute of the game. The ninety fourth minute. They can't close without two. So at this point in time, ball, declare see, ball if it be blow, if it be blow, he could blow somebody seven the red card. The red card collect the whole file. The file did they keep the red card inside no. Because you part now, red card the good no. Did Bubo be not the part? How did they allow as uh, um, the Mozambique player the ball to get to that the head of Zama, the uh, Mozambicans? No, the, the, the guy's name starts with a Z, I think. Me, I never uh-huh. how, how, how? You see, that's what that. That's what makes me go like, Charlie. You know what? This is a do or die affair. Oh. You see, it gets bloody in football when you know your the whole thirty-one million Ghanaians are watching you. Listen, the plus that's that's plus another thing. So, so that be that. <laughs> eh, so that be in, in total, you have over sixty million Ghanaians watching you. Charlie. And eleven players, all you have to do is to 
prevent that one ball. That one ball from entering the net. How, That's how you can see the two goals in five minutes. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's, 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 it's oh, amazing. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Listen, today we're talking about the Guinness World Record, but we have set a record. Hmm. Yes. We've yes. set the record in the hearts of Ghanaians today. Hmm. And it's painful. We love our players. We know it's not easy playing on that pitch with mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. watching. Mm-hmm. Listen, mm-hmm. in fact, mm-hmm. I was just telling you earlier on that, Jordan, that you have got some, some lovely uh, penalty tactics. And I know it's not easy for you to be on that pitch when the whole world is watching you and, you know, y- your one slip, but it is what, the, your spot on, I'm coming, one spot on decision. Don't let me come to OAP, guys. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> one spot on decision that you are supposed to be making because you're trained for this. And, Charlie... Oh well. You see? Hey, for for the first time in my life, okay? Yeah. For the first time in my life, Oleli, mm-hmm. I was watching this in the comfort of my home. Ah. And it's good and, to watch it from your home. Oh. And bro, I because tell you. Imagine you are driving by. You just go <laughs> anybody go past you go, you go sort them. Like you just go vex vex. Like everything that talk see, you. See, the thing pay me. Hey, the thing go my inside. Like and watching to think about two the in the morning we spoke about mental health. Actually, my mother. Disruptive lifestyle. This, this has caused us. Imagine. <laughs> the whole country needs to be checked. God will ask them. Wow. God will ask them. <sighs> In all this, mm. go, uh, see, is it Fila or Falia? Is it Fila? Fila. Fila. Or Fila. Fila. Yeah, Fila or Fila, um, whose record is also being heavily contended with them. Um, uh, somebody also also trying to break the record, right? Yeah. So while she was on 220 something hours, somebody too was also trying to go for 240 something hours. Mm-hmm. Wow. Interesting. But recently, there's been a surge in the interest when it comes to uh, breaking of world records. What happened? Where did it come from? Um, didn't we know about it? Is there any money attached to it? Um, what, what, what is the sudden, why the sudden interest in a lot of people uh, now wanting to break Guinness World Records? Um, Guinness World Records have been there for a very long time. I mean, Hildabasi now brought attention of Guinness World, Guinness World Records, <laughs> relax, <clears throat> to, to this side that re, well, reinitiated or the interest. So I don't know what word to use. Anyway, she just um, brought back the attention on the Guinness World Records. And I know from way back, at first, it used to be a book. You know, the records used to be a book that we used to you once in a while. You can get in libraries and you can go and check. Mm-hmm. And or your rich the, friend's house. Or your rich friend's house. You know, yeah. and courtesy digitization it has gone through that whole now. It, it came, you're just now, a, just, you know, a, a stone throw away from, just go online and plug in and find out what's happening. But um, for, for many years, I don't think Africans had shared much interest in the Guinness World Record. And so recently, when again, like I'm saying, Hilda Bassi um, brought the attention with her cookathon, and even in that, I want to find out the name cookathon. Uh, was it cookathon? Yeah. Yeah. Was it a her coined up name yeah. or? Hilda Bassi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think she so. Said so. So Hilda Bassi was the one who coined up the cookathon. Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't something. I can believe. Yeah, and it was supposed in to the be initi- a single. Um, Cooking marathon by a single individual. By an that's, individual. That's it. Yeah. And named the cookathon. And then I think she <laughs> yeah, named yeah. it cookathon. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And ever since then, we uh, no, 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 stones. No, no, no. Stones became the next big thing. You know, on the continent. But we want to go deeper into understanding some of the things uh, about the Guinness World Records. There are some questions that we can answer. And I just picked this off the internet as well to read them out to you. Um pardon me let me find uh we also want to be checking some of the requirements for and in fact there are three things um sorry are there three or four hey, quite a number of them i didn't um um three fundamental things oh what happened just when i was opening the page you know it just went off but let me just go Eat back ice. um there are some questions that I'm going to be reading out. Quite a number of things you need to uh, fulfill before you can even be set to uh, want to break a record. Um, I picked well. I picked just four of them here. They said one: um, all Guinness World Records titles must be f- must fulfill key criteria, including. I'm just going to pick four of them. We can just touch on them. Firstly, it says number one: measurable. So, is it the fastest? longest heaviest um okay there it is uh number two breakable and this is picked off google um can the record be broken or repeated by someone else Mm. 
um well we'll put that right we'll put that back on the screen in a few minutes um standardizable <laughs> standardizable sorry i'm just kidding oh, no 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 baby standardizable standardizable in the mat <laughs> can the record title be done universally mm. and then uh there's also verifiable can the claim be proven wow interesting so that already tells you that quite quite a number of things uh will be difficult yeah. to be able to fall into That's this um, constantly reviewing the evidence Yes. To be sure that indeed you. Let's start off with our very own if uh, if we said to our Edwin. It's like them, son. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to her on this. But guys, before we hit, before we get reviews from, or if she's broken the record from Guinness, I'm sure we watched the we watched her. Um, I think before we go into it, we should tell let people we should clarify for people that this Guinness is different from the Guinness. Okay, uh, help us yes, out. Yes, yeah. it's, not, it's not the same. <laughs> this is not. No, this is not the Irish, Irish stout yeah. uh, Guinness, the the beverage. This is just uh, and the name coincidentally. So it's just Guinness World Records. People, I saw a tweet where people were going back and forth thinking the Guinness people why they know you sell them a drink. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it's not, you know, not the same. Thing. It's, okay. it's not the same. So, thing. so that's just um, by the way. I'm going to read this here. It says Guinness World Records, known from its inception in 1955 until 1999 as the Guinness Book of Records. In previous U.S. Uh, editions, the Guinness Book of World Records. It's a British reference book published annually listing world records of both human achievements and the extremes of natural world um the brainchild of this is sir hugh beaver now the book was co-founded by twin brothers norris and ross uh mac Weta, mm-hmm. or whiter or whiter or whiter or something um somewhere in london in 1955. now the first edition um well in a, let, let's fast forward down i want to find a place where it speaks about the name um i'm pulling up uh, for you yes um the name in any way um pardon me let me just take my time to find this um well here it says on 10th november 1951 well sir hughes beaver then the managing director of the guinness breweries so sir why, why are you saying that i don't get it no you, you read the story first um went on a shooting party in somewhere okay anyway um and then after missing a shot at a golden plover he became involved in an argument over which was the fastest game bird in Europe. Now, the golden plover or the red red grouse or grouse. Um, what was the plover though? Um, is it is it one of those shooting games? Anyway, um, um, anyway, so it became an argument. Now that evening at uh, at the place, he realized that it was impossible to confirm in reference books whether or not the golden plover was used fastest game bird. Now, Beaver knew that there must have been numerous other questions debated nightly among the public, but there was no book in the world which to settle the arguments about the records. It goes on to say that he realized then that a book supplying the answers to this sort of question might prove successful. I get in this. Yeah. Then, Beaver's idea became reality, a reality when Guinness employee Christopher Chataway recommended university's friend Norris and Ross, um, who had been running a fact-finding agency in London. Now, the, twins, uh, the twin brothers were commissioned to compile what became the Guinness records. Um, now, I still I can't find the name here. Okay, um, so let me, let me help okay, you out help here. me out. So, um, like you rightly said, mm-hmm. um, Guinness World Records is an organization that celebrates and verifies human achievements and records mm-hmm. across various fields. The Guinness beer is definitely the brand of Irish dry, dry stout, known for its dark color, roasted flavor, and signature. Now, the history here is um, the world record started in 1951 by. Okay, Sir I've seen Bieber, it as well. And then um, Guinness beer founded in 1759. Okay, now here's the relationship. Historically, the world, Guinness World Records was originally funded by Guinness Brewery, and they used the brand name for marketing purposes. Okay, mm-hmm. and this association <coughs> helped propel the record book to global fame. But um, I think they went to courts and they legally separated, um, you know, the 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 beer, the, the Guinness beer, and then the Guinness World Records. Okay, Does it make was sense? A, I, I sent a piece of ex, information. He, he was an they ex employee. Out. Yeah, <coughs> he was an ex employee okay. of Guinness Brewery. Okay, and then he used that for um, his marketing. Um, he purpose. used the book for his one of his marketing so, campaigns yes. sort of all right so there you go 
So the group was owned by Guinness PLC and subsequently Diageo until 2001 when it was purchased by Gulane Entertainment or Gulani Entertainment for $65 million. Now, Gulani or Gulane or Gulane was itself purchased by Hit Entertainment in 2002. Let me add on this to it. It says Guinness Superlatives, later Guinness World Records Limited, was formed in 1954 to publish the first book. Now, Sterling Publishers owned the rights to the Guinness Book in the U.S. for decades Mm -hmm. until it was repurchased by Guinness in 1989 after an 18-month-long lawsuit. Lawsuit, yes. Yes, now the group was owned by Guinness PLC and like what we just read um, um, as well. Anyway, so we've established that both the brands are are, are different. Yeah, okay. although they seem to be having some the brainchild of somebody who was an employee from the same yeah. of Guinness. Guinness and yeah. The opportunity existed for them to use it to market themselves and vice versa. How much yeah. money do Guinness World Record holders get? They I don't mean, get anything. We do not pay record breakers for their achievements <laughs> or like for carrying the new out. Stop. A record they attempt. Just they don't pay. It's, it's just for the recognition, and I think and the, the opportunities access, and yeah. the access that come with it, and that is why I think this conversation and the important. bragging rights. Yeah, because I mean, okay, you when, when we get to it, if I go to the next Momo vendor, I'll zoom. Because me cash out bragging Momo rights, five thousand. <laughs> because that's that's where that's where the conversation should be. Because I'm 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 looking at okay, cool. I mean, you look at what Hira Basi did, and obviously she she had the whole world talking about her. You know, a conversation started from, you know, a place in Nigeria, and because of the internet, it just spiraled out of control yeah. across the globe. And I think um, for a very lot to say that Nigerians. So Guinness Guinness World Record mm-hmm. doesn't in any way ensure you or nothing allows you to go it's break all your a record. No, that's it's all your business. Your costs. Yeah. And then when you finish, risk, when everything. you finish, they put your name in their book as you've done this. And yes. even that, Jay, they after are a validation you finish, point. After you finish, it's not automatic that you are going to be in the book. Mm. After you finish, they need you to go review. through. I the mean, the review is done. Yeah. Review. So yes. I mean, assuming that you get into the book, mm-hmm. so basically they don't do anything for you. Do they, they don't they don't promote you or publish you no, or no, do no, anything. No, no. They, they just, just put you in their book. Yeah. And then they do their research. They do their research on you and whatever it is you claimed. To have achieved to validate it and verify that i mean it, it makes sense they're it. not mandated to do anything no, for no. you they're just they're just they, they also said but the now the, the question is yeah. the question is that That's the question that. is that who becomes the bigger beneficiary of the of the whole value chain you that you that you, you cannot, did it you cannot be bigger than the brand so basically but also we are just to an extent because i i feel like you know I mean, hitherto, we didn't know who Hilda Bassi was, or we didn't know who so me, Ifwa Asantua was to a large extent. Maybe some people knew who they that. were. I get right? you. But I'm, I, I think that <coughs> I agree with you when you say that um, you can't be bigger than Guinness mm. Book of Records, but I also think that it sort of gives you know, the participants you, a certain level So before um, you level of other question, I'm reading this to add on to Lenny. Leverage, it, says, yeah. it can bring record. It can. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a shield. <laughs> it can bring recognition <coughs> and prestige, potentially opening up opportunities for public appearances, yes, like speaking engagements, and, and media hey, coverage. Hey, hey, hey Cyril, cool down. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what that's what you're going to say? Sure, you're going to say before before I, before I continue. I'm saying that yeah. if not for Hilda Bass and mm-hmm. Chef Falia, who we know today, and uh, the singing girl, um, mm-hmm. if what, if if sorry, I didn't remember her name. If what, Chef Falia, and then uh, Hilda Bass. That happened on Twitter, social media in the last month, so we know. Mm-hmm. Who here can name one Guinness World Record holder? No, we all can't. Exactly. So the brand Guinness World Records is known, even though the record as, holders, as a, record <laughs> as, a, as, as, a, as a wonderful feat of amazing records, a, a repository of humans' intense potential to do groundbreaking, ama- amazing stuff. The book is there. That's the biggest brand. Mm-hmm. Life is not for these three people we mentioned. We didn't know anybody. No, but that's why I said that. I agree with you when you mm-hmm. say the individuals can't be bigger mm-hmm. than the brand. But also, the individuals, you know, were maybe not known. And then they become more popular because they are engaging in this. Probably we also don't know any, you know, world record holder because we've not followed through and we are not We're going to drill down to find out you know, what's, we are what, not why the sudden interest. But I think that Hilda Bassi, you know, Pick people's interest when it comes to in that. This, in this market, in this area. 
in Africa. Oh yeah, I don't think so, people. Okay. No, but you I don't see, think people in Europe are worried about. Were, about <laughs> no, no, no. I like the fact that sorry, I like the fact that we've established that this has nothing to do with Guinness, the brand Guinness, the yeah. alcohol brand Guinness. But of course, they are enjoying some huge. Yeah, some residual. Yeah. Uh, it's huge. I mean, clearly that's because of course it's Guinness. So you so that, let, let's just establish that one. That by all means, at the end of the day, the alcohol brand enjoys a certain level it's of the stray bullet. Yeah, stray bullet. Stray bullet brand Number one. Number two. Um, the, the little, <laughs> I don't know how to put this, but if, um, if you we are watching television, like three music, three music is offering a service of keeping you glued and entertained. Okay. And there's cost to doing that. So if you are paying any form of licensing to the TV stations for accessing the channel, because it's on a digital platform, it makes sense. So there's a way way for both parties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But here in this case, there is a continuous buildup of the brand Guinness World Records, yeah. <laughs> not World people. Records, Guinness World Records, which there's an off benef- beneficiary, residual beneficiary, like you mentioned, of the Guinness alcoholic brand, mm-hmm. you know, and we all keep contributing to it. Yeah. And then the question is that so, shouldn't it's, there have the been something? Gig, it's the biggest gig, <laughs> on the, it's the best gig <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> you do you not like, no, how do you mean? Uh, arrangement. How said, do you mean? Is the biggest I mean, the Guinness gig? World Records, it's the, it's the most. Impressive and exciting, and entertaining. The world and record. Yet, yes, yeah. and see, yet, see the world record book. Yeah, the no book. Yet. Yeah, yeah, the world record book. <laughs> I want to see something. It's the it's the world record book. Yes. is the most entertaining, the spectacle, mm-hmm. whatever. It's like going to the circus, mm-hmm. right? But you don't want to go home with the name of the guy who wrote the elephant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? If yeah. I go to the circus and the guy comes out and the elephant is doing tricks, woo! I eat my popcorn, smile with my mm-hmm. kids, and go home. But the guy who was writing the elephant is called Lily Salvador. The yeah, name yeah. is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Mm-hmm. And that's what basically the book is, right? The feat always supersedes the person who executed it. Mm-hmm. Unless you have a, a system in place to make yourself a celebrity mm-hmm. out of the, the feat. And I think that's what uh, Hilda Basi did Typical right. example. Mm-hmm. She did the cooking thing. That had been done severally before. And, of course, we've seen being done after. Mm-hmm. Right? So the feat itself is not the wow. The wow is how she carried herself, how she managed to get brands on board, going on podcasts, going on shows, becoming a socialite. All those spin-off things are where she's really finding the value. Mm -hmm. But for her, as in the cooking itself, we've been forgotten about the cooking. She's on podcasts now talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And how how, uh, Ghana girls... He, uh, really secretly want to date uh, Nigerian, Nigerian men, men but they really don't get, you, like, like which one you won't be cube and salt <laughs> which one they vex you right now in relationship it be, it be food you cook we know you I'm being serious did you know you know you know you know relationship expert <laughs> oh, Lily, did you know her as a relationship counselor I'll be less than no. top five top Ghanaians so far Lenny. whose names are in the yes. Guinness in the relationship finish, world yes. in the relationship world, if they say Oprah was giving relationship advice who say uh, if they say Steve Harvey was giving relationship advice who say, uh, Hilda Bassi, you did we know you. her concerning relationship? But she finished her. cooking Amala and ended up uh, on podcast that this is how relationships should be. Oh, okay. So she's doing it right. She's taking the spotlight, the clout, and she's molding it into her That's own yeah. brand of uh, my brother. More, uh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, yeah. uh, blasters now, yeah, mama, mama, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you understand. So for me, that's what it is. Whether you want yeah. to climb a mountain, fight five lions, whatever, that's not your that's not the, the it that you've done a single tone, you sang for one week, how many days? Yeah, that's that's that, that's the door opening. That's a door now. The whole world is watching you. So, beyond what that, what tangible right? thing do you yeah. have to offer mm-hmm. to ride this uh popularity? Okay. Into so, the so to hold that point, we're going to come to what to use the this for how you can because you're speaking from a marketing point of view, and I think that's brilliant. Let's list these are top five Ghanaians whose names are already um in the book. In, in the book. Uh, number one, we have Louis APJ. I bet you didn't know this, but mm-hmm. Louis, um, he's a patron of Ghana's uh, eSports. Now, wow, interesting, yeah? Now, check this out. Luis uh, holds a Guinness World Record for the youngest to set a motor racing simulator record. Um, yes, you can get what the source from his that? Facebook page as well. Motor racing game. Motor racing uh, game. Okay. Um, it could so, be a game. It could be. Um, I wonder what the record. Maybe he. Maybe he. He lost some time in some number of seconds or Perhaps something. Perhaps he's a programmer or something. Yeah. Um, well, he's UK born Ghanaian. Um, entered the Guinness World Record at a tender age of ten. Mm. When he was ten years, yes. He's US based, you say? UK. UK based. Yes. Um, 
And uh, yes, yeah, so that's uh, Louisa PJ. Let me read more on the rest. Uh, then the Dixon upon that you're seeing on the screen, the name you're seeing here, they call him the water man, the human water fountain. Now, what did he do? Um, he's, uh, he's nicknamed the water man because he has the world record for the longest time to spray water uninterruptedly from his mouth in 32.65 seconds. So he filled his mouth with water. I can break that one today. And and uh, small small uh, so that's what Dixon did. Wow. Wait for how many seconds? Thirty two. I'll try to. So why are we? Oh, I, I like the way now. There's interest in going for the uh, records that are longer hours. Bro, but there's some small small became, ones we can try. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. became a Guinness World Record holder for taking the number of selfies under thirty seconds. Yeah. So I show my camera. And pick, no, pick, for pick, smiling pick, pick. for smiling in selfies. Selfies. Yeah. Okay. Then we, we'll I think check. Was that an Indian please, or something? Please be on yeah. there. Some of the very silly records that we can <sighs> check. If you can just some of the, the crazy ones you can read. Um, let's move on. So now he attained it on set on CCTV Guinness World Records uh, special mm, in okay. Beijing, China, sometime in 2012, mm. and that's for um, Dixon Opon. Then let's move on. Now there's Daniel Ama and Richard Ofori. Um, do I have the names? Yeah. Balance yes. Um, now these two. <laughs> These two um, third and fourth Ghanaians to enter the Guinness World Records, Daniel Ama and Richard Ofori, did so by scoring the fastest talk, sorry, fastest time to walk over 10 obstacles whilst carrying a person on their head. <laughs> Interesting, right? Um, now, according to Guinness World Records, they set this record in mm. time of just 21.83 seconds. Now, they set their record on, um, on the set of low show day record in Milan, Italy, sometime in 2012, April 27, to be precise. Now, let's go to um, this guy. Um, his name here, his name here, his name here. I don't know if it's the same. There's also a Ferdi Atu Adoboy or something. Fastest backward runner as well. Uh, he did this in 1983. And then, um, yeah, he walked backwards. Zero. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, for that. So anyway, um, let's come back to us now. So these are top five. Guys, I'm, I'm seeing one on there that yeah. I'm sure will be heartbreaking to all of us. The Azonto, there's something funny I want to read. The Azonto to, dance one. The something funny dance I want to read. The Azonto dance can one can you check was up there. I want, I want to read yeah, something. Let's check. It let's has, check. It has, okay, Azonto after. dance. Largest Azonto dance gathering. Uh, yeah. The well, dance that was a that dance group. We, we, yeah, the dance that we, we didn't want uh, to push. but. Are you kidding? It was a flash mob, yeah. Yeah. The flash largest Azonto dance gathering. Oh, my God. Oh, can I read something? Go ahead. It has nothing yes, to do with Yes, we are shy of the dance. It has nothing to do with the Guinness. Guinness. Nothing to do with but I think it's funny. Mm. Okay. Uh, Liberia uh, swore in their president on Monday. Uh, it's pretty finishes. Liberia's newly elected president, 79 year old Joseph Why Bo- do we do Bo- this? Oh, so this, this man didn't win. Um, uh, ooh, we are. We are. Oh. oh, no, no, no. 70 what? 79 <laughs> year old Joseph Boakai was unable to complete his inauguration speech and had to be assisted off the podium while on his one one of his aides used the would-be speech to fan him. Other aides were seen admonishing people who were recording the incident, asking them to stop filming and trying to take cameras and recording devices away. And so maybe uh, maybe Africa nation, maybe Africa right? has the record for oldest and most uh, unfit presidents. <sighs> like you there's another one somebody the himself. The yeah. Salvador. The was. The, which was that one? You know it. I know you know you know I know you know it. It happened sometime last year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there are even stories told of that. <laughs> this is the guy's first day on the job. Oh. Read your CV to us. <laughs> Hey, they won on the job. Read your CV for us. Africa, we need to dissolve it. This is what Cheddar is going for. We need to dissolve it. We need to dissolve Africa. Okay, there's more to understand. Now, (laughs) um, uh, oh, what happens? Oh, they put it up. Oh goodness. (laughs) Let's let's listen. Uh, And that respect.
This record, there, you see. Mm, so, speaking of records, the <laughs> one read you. What is your name? <laughs> <laughs> Cyril, <laughs> please. <laughs> Charlie, what is wrong? Congratulations on your job, Jeffoli. Uh, what would you like to do for us? Charlie, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong with the continent? The continent is being. I, I, we are not frying the plantain. We are refused to fry the plantain. Wait, I also feel like I don't know. Only why do you look so frustrated? <laughs> some way, somehow, guys. Is that be serious record or anyway? No, but you know, some way, somehow. I think like they think they think that the younger ones can rule or run the nation, right? It's and it's rather unfortunate. I don't think a generation able to rule a nation is easy. The new force, the new force. 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 The new force but they're getting some record. <laughs> Charlie, this record, yeah. It'd be it's different record, eh? It's the African, be record, African yeah. record. Charlie. African record, uh, yeah. African how do record. we do it? Uh, well, if you... <laughs> <laughs> If 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 you succeed, record breakers receive a certificate for their achievements. Now, money is not offered uh, for breaking a record, expenses or equipment. No, the company believes international recognition is enough. I hope you understand that. Um and um there are quite a number of odd things here but we'll come to the one that what i asked only to check out we'll come to some of the um the uh, the hardest world records so far um how many guinness world records oh anyway there's messi here messi and ronaldo are in, are in competition as well um who holds the most guinness world records um it's a gentleman called Arsh, ashrita something Furman. um hmm. Anyway, I think we need to look at we need to look at the. Hmm. So let's come back this, home this now. This craze and the surge. Yes, now they're coming know. to this the craze and the surge. Yeah, because I. You know why I, do you think Ghanaian? I mean, <coughs> the Guinness World Records, like um, we rightfully you know reviewed, it's been in existence for a very long time, and this wouldn't be the first time Africans have attempted to do something. Clearly, we could see that, you know, we've had people, you know, um, attempt you know, to get their names in, in the books and whatnot. But I think now the whole idea of the of the rec of the of the world record or the Guinness World Records is being bastardized in a way. Because ch check this out. When Falia got done with the cookathon, I'm told another chef was already on her way to break um her record, right? Mm -hmm. In another yes, country. In another country. Nigerian living in Canada. Yes. You know, and I'm like, okay. So Worst case scenario, they review the evidences, and mm -hmm. Falia obviously, you know, she she's able to, you know, avoid many infractions to not um, disqualify herself or better yet, you know, reduce mm -hmm. her time. But if the other lady in this case mm -hmm. who is attempting this cookathon, right, actually beats her record, that means Falia did not even get a chance to, to become start. <laughs> the first place. Basically, you get me? Yeah. so you are looking at the stress you have to deal with. The monies you have to spend, spend. you know, the, the, the resources, the people that... And in her case, if she doesn't become the record holder, what happens to all this hardware that's gone it's in gone. there? It's gone. She put on a, in a, there was an article today saying that she's mad at her team gone with because the they stopped her. So yeah, because she, she wanted to go further. But you see, but, no, but not at the expense of there. your health. Like, for example, if our, if, if our um, medical team said they noticed that if she had gone any further, the, the situation had been worse. So they stopped mm -hmm. her. Yeah, and, and, and it was the same yeah. case for failures, failures, as well, because well. her husband even mentioned that you know initially <coughs> they wanted to do five days, right? Yes, and, and then, then during days. the course of it, they increased to ten days. So I remember in a video where her husband said, um, "His wife is strong. His wife can, you know, go, mm. you know, for however mm. long." But based on advice, the husband's the, medical degrees in what? From the medical, no, no, no. So he doesn't come into. He said based on advice from the medical, medical team, team mm. they would know whether to go beyond, you know, the stated number of days. So I think they had to cut it at a point, regardless of ten days not sleeping, mm -hmm. being on your feet mm -hmm. and cooking is a lot. And you see, you look, it's at, a lot. I, I mean, shout outs to Hilda Bassi. I think she seemed to have commercialized 
you know the guinness world records like we rightfully said formerly it was just a book you know i mean was it and if you look at the engagements the guinness world record accounts you know um seem to have received or or had during um hilda bassi's and cook assault. that also broke a record listen that's that's like in their whole existence yeah. on social media Olio, i want to ask you so what happens when like maybe i said i can jump from mount everest and land on my feet all the best and and Nobody that's guinness you. so that's something that's guinness world record mm-hmm put in anything no. with regards to no, no. I get I get where your where, question is going. So what do what, what, what happens do. No what so there have been instances of corporate or brand sponsored um record attempts. Right? Like I know Red Bull dropped that guy from the stratosphere. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen that, that yeah, I, I, I they that, took I somebody up to the mm-hmm. yeah and then they dropped them. I know well, they tried to get that entered for highest uh, free diving, blah blah. So there have been instances where brands go crazy and say, okay, fully we are um, <clears throat> please on my idea <clears throat> no no wait before you say just in case it's the same as mine so i had planned ah. on one of my birthdays <laughs> mm. uh-huh. um i was going to when it was static actually roundabout uh-huh. i was going to um jump for um charity uh do a parachute from a plane to what end to to like no it's just a ch- charity. charitable okay. course yeah so you're um, for awen- to awareness on dialysis oh okay Yes, oh. uh, so I was going to do that, but I I think I did, I never. So you see, uh, now that now that you you mentioned this, right? Yeah. If because clearly we can't stop the search, right? It it seems like it's a newfound pandemic. You know, everybody wants to do something. So maybe they could find a course, just so that to attach it with you understand. Mm-hmm. Just so that when you move away from the Guinness World Records, which is just a record keeping book, anyways. You know, because it's what you. I was actually wishing that it's what um, you see, use it's with them, it's, the it's what you use that if I got that I had wished that if they had, if they knew, but of course they didn't know when mm-hmm. we were starting. It would have been associated with the play they, Ghana agenda. They, they don't. They don't consult. Yeah. No, I mean, see, the I'm reason why I, mean, I didn't think she was, she knew she was oh, doing yeah, this Yeah, because clout. the pig Ghana agenda that, that was that Ghana. That. Even if I don't break the record, let you this know, be. It's very interesting yeah. because call for us to support There was a conversation about how um, marketing managers in the country are lazy, <laughs> and that they are not. Um, no, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tickle yeah, serious. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Yeah, no, I'm because it, marketing I'm, managers are there, I'm but coming. do they reach out yeah, to the marketing I'm, I'm managers? Bringing, I'm bringing it to the fore. Yeah. When, if I'm, 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 this is about even if I was Singleton, right? You notice the brands that came on board and how, you know, the numbers that trooped there, the exposure that came with it and everything. And the conversation was like, oh, um, marketing managers always wait for creatives to do their thing before they look to tap in. Yeah. Right. And prior to some of these things, you go to them. My mouth is itching me. They don't give you any. They don't give you any yeah. money to start your project. Don't. Yeah. And I no. To be very fair, I mean, I know you're going to be biased, but I think I think it's a fair. It's, it's not a fair, a fair, ag- it's a fair argument, argument because really. if you go to a marketing manager and you say you want to do this, want to do that. You know, well, it depends on your pitch. But if yeah. you want to do let this me, and do that, and you don't get the money, me, you want, you. and you go ahead <laughs> and do it, and then it becomes like a global phenomenon, then you want to tap in because uh, brands want to tap into the audition, you and then your first. But do okay. you reach out? Wait, do they reach out <coughs> first? That's what. If I, if I wait, did mention that she, she reached, reached out, to brands, out yes, and then see, and then she didn't get anybody at all. Some of them turned down. Activity. Some of them turned down. The proactivity of when I let me say brand Ghana. So that marketing, <laughs> branding, advertising, everybody collect the bullet. The proactivity of brand Ghana is is not where it should be. We were here when people drove to UK, mm-hmm. and we all said Kantanka should have been part of this. And they this wrote to have... Kantanka. They, they spoke you to listen, Kantanka. You let me boss your mind, boss mm-hmm. mama. All that happened, the Kantanka guy said his uh, PAs didn't get information to Sir. him. His Sir. phone was this and that and that. And we all forgot, including Kantanka. <laughs> So when she canic yeah. put together a team. a team that they are going to the Afcon, Afcon. Afcon Africa's Haya. biggest eyeball spectacle, Abijan and Haya. they are driving Haya. If you are afraid that maybe the Kantanka will not even reach landing in one piece, Abijan dear. Abijan dear. We should have taken advantage of that and say that we, indeed we are going to support. And this is marketing when it's a lady saying, uh, the fire. No, no marketing. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Let me go. Let me go. Guys, I will get muscle. Marketing managers are not lazy. Like if you say that that one, dear. No, no, it's 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 a complete. You go ahead. You go ahead. Marketing managers being lazy. Yes, off. But to my shit. I look like a man. But they are tapping. They are tapping. They are tapping. My brother. They are tapping manager. No, you go ahead. 
They are, yes, very good. See, <laughs> they say they are halang. Afcon, Afcon, <laughs> <laughs> Afcon, Haya. Why was Shikanik's uh, entourage not fully cantankerized? Mm. We are going to support black stars. Excellence made in Ghana. Well, now we know it's not excellent, but so, at the time, <coughs> you understand, we couldn't have taken Kantanka cars. So they missed the opportunity to go to London. And Abhi Jan swear. Yeah. Abhi Jan swear. <laughs> then you tell me that the marketing manager is doing his job. Abhi Jan swear. When you call to London, when you call to London, Abhi Jan, I call you for a year. Six hours. We don't need to. Maybe that Lenny, marketing manager Lenny, was in previous Lenny, to the conversation. That's what we call how social would, listening. You, the marketing manager's that? job is supposed to Has be looking to on the market listening. like this. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 This shiny thing, what is it? I agree to that 100%. Not to review, your job as a uh, marketing manager is not to review passive. Uh, proposals. Yeah. That's passive. You are in your office, air condition, they blow you in your seat. <laughs> Let me go send you uh, a yeah. 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 proposal. Yeah. Every day, send a proposal. Send a proposal. Sir, what is your proposal? Sir, what is your proposal. It's, it's it looks like no, it's but there are some marketing managers that go Bro. out as well. That's yes. why I don't want us to let's not, all let's not throw the, the baby out. No, wait. With the, what uh, we can't be, was, we have marketing water. What managers not are lazy. And I don't want us to put all of them <laughs> I was going under to throw one the baby. umbrella. Do <laughs> you understand? That's what I don't want one because there are people who actually go out to put in the work and make sure that whatever brands that have to be on whichever projects are on the projects. So roping all of them under one umbrella to say marketing managers that are lazy. I agree. It's so That's wrong. what I'm saying. Now we can't throw the baby out with the bath water. But fortunately for us, water is not flowing. So everybody <laughs> is safe. I am not saying every marketing manager in Ghana is flawed. I personally know some amazing guys who go above and beyond to be proactive with their brands and do some amazing work. So this is not a machine gun, ga -ga 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 -ga, the it's whole real. industry. But we are saying that there's more to be desired. And the trend, if you've ever been on a sponsorship drive, a partnership drive, trying to get corporate engagement, yeah, there's a wow, very wow, laid back, wow, like wow, a disical. Yes, so tell, me, so tell me about what you guys do. Eh, you need to put it in the proposal. Let's see. Maybe I can push it to my boss. <laughs> okay. Me. Did you get my email? Okay, so I'll see you. That is not your job, <laughs> sir. Let me say. Sir, really boss, really, who, let, let me, me please. Let me that, that's because and your wage man, no brat. Yeah. <laughs> your job is to even if the person excuse me to say, you go by you. You go by myself. Even if your job is to sit there and review, right? It is possible that somebody can come to you with an iota of an idea that is badly drafted ill presented that needs just that enough. needs your input that is why you are the marketing manager hmm. so if foley comes to sit in front of you and he's disheveled and his document is basa he's never used powerpoint before that doesn't mean he doesn't have a groundbreaking idea here nah, you as the marketing to, manager to are supposed to draw that this into fruition today for your <laughs> brand we have to have a you know what i'm saying have you done that before <laughs> Me, we have yeah. to bring marketing managers here. If I start listing the amount to. of things that I've had to put my hand inside for it to work here, maybe they, maybe they'll, they'll make me marketing manager of Ghana. Because the way that is going, let me read something from um, <laughs> the Department read, of Marketing, Ghana. Ghana. Let me read something from um, Ahuma Kabute Ado. Ado Dua G. Yeah, Ahuma. 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 That's because, uh, what do you call it, uh, husband? Yeah. Okay. So he says, vice versa. I think event organizers do not understand what brand manager and marketing managers I'm are I'm sorry, please. I know we've just drifted off a little bit on the surge of the Guinness. It's, it's athletes, a lead into tomorrow's a conversation. Lead into, okay. Yeah, please. All okay. Right. And he says, the assumption that awareness is the only marketing KPI is wrong. Mm -hmm. If the design event can only offer awareness, there is no need to sponsor BMs and MMs. Um, that is business managers and marketing mm -hmm. managers would find innovative and guerrilla ways to associate and get awareness. Mm -hmm. So my question to event organizers uh, is what pressing marketing KPIs can be, can be attained with your event? Then comes Dennis Gauga mm -hmm. from CFO, right? And he says, as for me, I ask a lot of questions before I find reason to plug in. By the time I'm done, sponsorship seekers know their stand. Now, Huma comes back to say, I know, right? I look at sponsorship requests and I laugh. Sometimes you only meet organize, uh, organizers out of Ketsi because honestly, their event brings no value. Look at the current economic situation where sales are dwindling and A&P cost is now almost directly proportional to sales. And you bring a proposal to an established brand and all you can talk about is the numbers attending the event. 
event organizers in this country are not innovative. The strategic ones like Echo House, who understand what it takes, are raking in big time. I have a, I disagree oh, with that. That is point. why I'm saying that we have to wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> because no, 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 but, but no, but I put the thing like, oh, sorry, more <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to go I don't want to go I think it would be best if the person is here. I go I agree with what he said, but the critical point that he missed to capture is that as the brand manager or the marketing manager of your institution or your brand, mm -hmm. you have the unique insights and understanding of what your brand means. So the, proposal the, is outsi the, the outsider, right, can only know to one extent. That's what I'm saying. That So if somebody brings you a proposal and the only value that he's offering in his proposal is numbers, right, from where he stands, he thinks your biggest uh, uh, problem EBI, is EBI. Visibility. visibility. That is why he's trying to sell you what he thinks is of value to you. The communication, the, 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 the whatever... You see the opportunity in... To, and then that, okay, we are not really big on visibility. Our KPIs are on conversion, on this, on that, on this, on that. Do you think it's possible for your proposal to be reshaped okay. to service these okay. things? So then it works together like this. Leave. But don't expect that the proposal will land on your desk Please. and it's Just cooked. one question. Just Maybe, one question. I beg you guys. I beg if you guys. If someone reaches out to a brand like Coca-Cola, it's fine. Someone Ask reaches it. out to a brand like Coca-Cola. A soda company, I beg you. Uh, soda okay, company. a soda company. A very popular <coughs> soda company. <coughs> Is that also for visibility so as well? So hold on right Because they already have visibility. So hold on right Don't answer it. Don't answer Sorry, hold on right there. Yet, though, we go it's to them and want to put them okay. on like a flyer. Okay, Lenny, so hold on with that question. That question will bring us to tomorrow's conversation on this. But we're just talking about how, um, you know, at the end of the day, you may not get necessarily anything money from the Guinness World Record, but it's recognition. But the, the point was raised on how to plug into some of these things um, that people are trying to do to also, you don't know, pay bills, uh, uh, create an orthodox <laughs> ways you. of... An orthodox ways of amplifying your I brand. The, I so tomorrow, for your question, yeah, okay. tomorrow if they can put it up. You read it. That's the answer. Tomorrow. Which one? We are suffering a conformity bias. That's the reason why when com centers became a thing, everybody yeah, opened a com yeah. center next space. to each other. <laughs> Tide water, to space. everybody. So, 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 so everybody. So there, it is, there it is for you. That's the answer. Conformity bias. Uh, it says refers to our tendency to take yeah, uh, so cues you know. for proper behavior in most uh, contexts. Okay. Uh, from the actions of others rather than exercise our own independent judgment. Not the whole Ghana. Conformity okay. bias, we okay. <laughs> when we Africa. face peer pressure or are trying to fit into a particular profession, professional or social environment. Truth. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll take this thing on about um, uh, what debate? advertising, <laughs> marketing. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss that. It's going to be very, very interesting. Don't miss out on Cotillary tomorrow. It's J Lady Serial Time. Check your hot event. Ahoma. Ahoma. Dennis, come and see. Tell me. <laughs> See.